Good morning, guys. Good morning. Tim and Donna Avery with Visual Testaments. Good morning. We were just discussing um, how <clears throat> we were listening to Bill Johnson and um, he was talking about how as leaders we can't commandeer the move of God. The move of God. You gotta have, sometimes God moves in joy, sometimes he moves in weeping and yeah. we just can't pick our favorites in that. Yeah. And when that stuff starts happening, you know, you can't commandeer it. You can't try to control those things. Mm -mm. Just allow them to happen. Just those things happen, we follow. The Holy Spirit leads us into those things. We just we just follow them is what, what Johnson was talking about, you know. And so sometimes we can have those things happen in our churches and we don't know how to do it. I deal with it, yeah. but just go with it. You can't yeah. try to shortchange those things or try to control those things. And so. by go with it, I mean, obviously, if you're a church and you're creating an atmosphere of the move of the Holy Spirit, then allow, allowing the gifts to flow allow the gifts to flow trust too that the holy spirit is going to to um release words release words and release he's gonna healing. and he's going if if a word is improperly released he's going to deal with it um if the timing was not right or if something was added to or taken away from he's going to deal with it if yeah. someone is moving in well, I also say that like, even even us as believers, we need to know how to decipher the word of God. You know, if the word's spoken over us, if, mm -hmm. if it doesn't line up to what we feel like the word of God is saying to us, then split those bones out. You yes, know? that's no, good. You no, mean the, re the person that receives yeah, the, the word? The person that receives the word, you know, if you're receiving a word from somebody and if it doesn't line up, if you're weighing that, we're supposed to weigh every word according to the Bible of what he says. We're supposed to weigh every word. Yeah. And so if those words don't line up to what God's called you to do, then spit yeah. those bones out. You know, we don't get butt hurt and, you know, try to report that and, and all this other stuff. Just yep. we, we as mature Christians know that people are operating in the gifts of the spirit. And sometimes we don't hear correctly or whatever. Just know that, you know, we're as, practicing. as believers, you know, we're, we're supposed to encourage and up, uphold each other, you know, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. That's because, a good. You know, don't try to create a doctrine to think that we need to control the move of the God, you know? And so that's what I would say about that. It's definitely um, interesting. I know you had just mentioned earlier, like it's... For the kings and the prophets. Yeah, sometimes the, you know, the words are dead on, you know, especially back in the days when there's prophets and kings, you know, that they were operating in, you know, the prophets would give the word to the king because it was a, it was a, he was a mouthpiece of the Lord. Yeah. And if the king didn't like the word, you know, he would, you know, they would, I would have to wrestle with that. Is, is this actually what God is saying? And, and absolutely God was saying it because he was speaking to his prophets. Well, as time went on, you know, Kings didn't like what the prophets were saying, especially if it was a rebuke or something that the Kings need to adjust of doing with their people. And so what happens, we all know the prophets, they started getting killed off yeah. because the Kings didn't like what they were saying. Yeah. So, you know, when you have a little bit of that there and you're going, you're going through and you're trying to navigate just trust that the Holy Spirit's navigating. If you're creating a, an atmosphere, if your job is just to partner with Holy Spirit to create an atmosphere, then remember, we are creating an atmosphere where we will trust and we can pray into, Lord, if that person is um, apostolically moving incorrectly or prophetically moving incorrectly or evangelistically moving incorrectly, teaching incorrectly, shepherding incorrectly, keep going. If, if, I am focused on, as a leader, creating an atmosphere where I trust that the Holy Spirit is going to move, then I also have to trust who he picks and trust that he can prune and he can bring in. He gives and takes away. Um, so if I jump in out of my own flesh and say, you need to leave or you need to not operate in that gift, you, you're actually quenching the Holy Spirit and you're actually um, diminishing the gifts. We've seen a church in San Diego um, that's just on fire, and we're we've seen churches that have felt the need to to um, build boundaries around. And what we've noticed is, while we also have seen, and we've even gone, okay, they're they've got too many boundaries. You know, let's put bumper bumper rails up, bumper guards up if you will, for them to go down. You know, the Holy Spirit's going to show himself in those. They're going to naturally, if you're saying, Lord, move them or change them. Move through them or change them or move them out. Like, 
prayer works for one, <laughs> saturate the area. But we've seen a church in San Diego, for example, that we saw where there were no limits. Yeah, people can do it. And I think, and I think that the difference too, the church you were talking about, is that there was training in that, you know? So yep. if you feel like you have a That's bunch, good. if you have an open uh, forum where people can give words to one another in your church, you know, and you feel like there needs to be some safeguards there, then train, you know, offer, you know, offer some training in there. You know, I'm not saying like only subjugate, certain people can only do certain things. I'm just saying like, you know, uh, incorporate some type of training so people can come and understand how to, how to flow in their gifts. Yeah. Like help, help the maturity and growth of your, of your church operating in the fivefold ministry, help, help them. Don't just cut it off, you know, help them mature that. And so if you have somebody who's, who's, who's got a prophetic gifting that can help lead that or an apostolic gift to help lead that and grow yeah. that and mature that so people can understand how to flow in that. Yeah. To offer that, you it know, fosters keep, it. keep keep it open yeah. and, and, and train and educate your, your lay people in your church who aren't leaders, the people who are just, you know, your, your congregants in there, yeah. educate them to learn how to weigh a word. Correct. You know, to understand how to receive a word or if that. it doesn't line up, then help them understand that they yeah. can let that release that word. Yeah. They just let it fall to the ground Yeah, and understand that there's power in that. Yeah. So that's important what he's saying there about receiving a word too. We can train how to give, how to give, how to give a word. But if we don't train also how to receive a word, mm -hmm. it's it, you're, you're only operating on one side of the, the spirit realm. And so it's really key to be able to understand that also um, as leaders that we can't be bought. Um, that's super key in, in, in creating that atmosphere because the atmosphere will tell if we can be bought or not. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And so making sure that whoever's, um, you know, we've also seen where people try and pour uh, finances, influence into a ministry only to think that they have the control, they have the control, control or the say of how that, 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 uh, that ministry operates. No, ma'am. No, sir. That's, that's how, that's, that's how. That's the spirit that will, that exactly. will sure if you don't nip that in the bud quickly. Exactly. So being able to understand as leadership, you are also a gatekeeper. Yes. <clears throat> so trusting that the Holy Spirit is going to show you, um, if there's a, a ton of fruit in the person that's giving a word, if there's a, if, or if there's not, then you, you get to pray through that. You get to invite that person to a training you get to invite that person um to learn how to receive you get to invite you get to pray over your atmosphere that the lord will move them or change them and so it's really key to be able to understand that as we're walking into the fivefold ministry as we're walking into these spiritual gifts as outpourings, well yeah. yeah all these <laughs> outpourings are going to um kick that up kick the dust up if you will the stirring up the holy spirit and all his gifts and we have to be able to not quench him but let him do what he's going to do you know when we walk down this when we walk down this road we see a lot of different types of plants and we're always like i wonder what medicinal properties that one has but when you put those two together they may not look like they belong but they can create awesome healing properties and just remember that when you're kicking up the dust, when the Holy Spirit's stirring up your atmosphere with prophetic giftings and fivefold ministry is being spoken and worked out, if we chop down one of the plants and think the other one was more medicinal, it's, it's dangerous because he's got a plan and we're interjecting our limitations on it. So let's just be able to flow and how the Holy Spirit's wanting to heal yep. and walk this out. Love you guys.